to show you the highlights here. As you mentioned, T.J. Yates last year, so that meant, that meant Matt Schaub's first ever playoff start. Andy Dalton, two years in the league, two playoff games. It's been 22 years since the Bengals have won a playoff game, though, and J.J. Watt wants to make we it We saw this all afternoon, guys. I, I mean, that Bengals offensive line struggled the last month of the season. They gave up 19 sacks the last four weeks, and Dalton was under pressure all afternoon long. Just one field goal in the first quarter between these two teams, 3-0 Houston when they get it down into the red zone again, and they third and eight, and they throw for about six yards. Yeah, they really struggled. In the red zone, Scott, and, and kicking field goals, that's what kept the Bengals in this game. Well, Bengals were hanging around here. An interception, or so it appeared, by Kareem Jackson after a couple of Shane Graham field goals put the Texans up 6 nothing. But take another look at it, Tom. Yeah, that ball was never in control. Kareem Jackson never had control of it. Andy Dalton was inaccurate today, especially on the deep ball, as you'll see as these highlights continue to roll on. Minus six passing yards in not the good. first half. That's not, not good. passing yards. No, not good at not all. But good. here's why they're hanging around, because the defense makes a play for Cincinnati. That was the biggest play of the game, really, and, and that put the Bengals back in chance, but they couldn't capitalize on it, Tom. They yeah. couldn't really do anything. Leon Absolutely. Hall intercepts Shaw and takes it back. Yeah, Shaw was late to deliver that football, and Leon Hall, a veteran, we saw this a couple weeks ago. He did the same thing against the Pittsburgh Steelers, but that certainly gave the Bengals a little bit of life. The Texans are completely outplaying Cincinnati, and yet the Bengals were up by a point. So, calm down on the Houston sideline. Arian Foster, and what happened to Ray oh Malaluga? Where'd he go? Yeah. Where'd who go? Yeah, rough first half, rough game for Ray Malaluga. Yes, but the offensive line and Foster had been doing it all year long, started getting it going here. Yeah, the Texans' offense made a living on the ground and through the air in the middle of the field. That was down to the Bengals 24. Ooh, Andre Johnson, though, just can't come up with this Matt Schaub pass here. Schaub knows missed opportunity. If the Texans are going to advance deep into the AFC postseason, plays like that have to be made. So stop me if you heard this one before. Another Shane Graham field goal, and it was 9-7. to seven. But Houston had the lead, and let their defense try and make some plays. Dalton scrambles, throws back across his body, and a nice knockdown right there by Brandon Harris. And once again, the common theme was the pressure that was applied to Andy Dalton. So they had to punt, and they do, and on the punt, you can see that's, that's uh, interference there, interfering with the man's right to catch the football. So a 15-yard penalty puts it into Cincinnati territory, and they take a shot to Andre Johnson. That's incomplete, but you saw a flag come into the bottom of the screen. It was a route over the middle of the field that they get called for defensive hold, and it extends the drive. Just hand it to Foster. He plows in the leading touchdown Finally, score. score a touchdown. Yeah, exactly. That was your one offensive touchdown in this entire football game. Andy Dalton, though, still within a couple of scores here. They take a shot and hit this one. Yeah, this was basically the biggest play of the day for the Cincinnati Bengals. The, the cornerbacks for the Texans were jumping routes all day long, and Andy just didn't have time to throw the football. Here was one of your closest calls of the day. Ruled an incomplete pass as Connor Barwin knocks the ball loose. What'd you think, Sean? Well, it looked like at first it was going to be ruled a fumble, but when you see the arm coming through and, and the ball heading towards the line of scrimmage usually indicates an incomplete pass. It was a coach's challenge. They did not over Return the call. Cincinnati maintained possession there, and that just let J.J. Watt come in and do Dikembe Mutombo style Not right there. So Dalton gets it back, and then what happened here, Tom? Yeah, we, we, this was interesting because it, it just looked as if A.J. Green wasn't on the same page, and he stopped running. And obviously, again, Joseph is, is staring at the quarterback yeah. the whole time. Joseph ran a better route than A.J. Green. <laughs> Tom Waddle makes that catch. <laughs> Didn't he put his hands out there, A.J. Green? On Tom that Waddle would have never gotten off the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Jonathan Joseph with the interception there. So, fourth quarter we go. It's still a ball game at this point if Cincinnati can get it to one possession. That's good hard running. They right run there. on fourth and one and get the first down there. Give with, credit to that old line right there because yeah. that's a tough defense to do that against. So the drive is extended. Plenty of Ball's time hanging. on the clock. Take a shot and Man, that, that ball's ball got to, that ball yeah. cannot hang like that. I mean, Andy Dalton had this trouble all day long. Great play by, by Jonathan Joseph, once again, able to knock the football away, but that ball just can't stay in the air that long. And Jackson in on the play there as well. Ensuing Texans drive after the field goal made it a six-point game. Shaw to Devere Posey for 19 yards, but they called pass interference on the offense here, so the Texans would have to punt. Here you go. A touchdown can win the game with under five minutes left to go. Third and 11. They don't convert. They hadn't converted a third down all game long until... You wow. see the flag comes in. Pass interference, their first third down conversion. 
Game is still alive. First and 10. They are into Houston territory here. Marvin Jones with a pickup on 15 yards from the slam pattern down to the 35-yard line. It's now third and 11. Dalton deep Man. as A.J. Green. Here's the theme of the day. It just it, You saw the one deep completion between Andy Dalton and A.J. Green, but we've seen several, Sean, that did. they just couldn't hook up. That was missed a touchdown. Missed opportunities that was a touchdown, and they, and they couldn't take the lead. So fourth and 11, and what are you doing throwing an eight-yard route? On fourth and 11. Not to A.J. Green. If you're going to throw the football on fourth and 11, this may be your last offensive play of the season. I'm taking my chances with A.J. Green behind the first down mark. So they're trying to run the clock out, and they run play action pass. A little bit of a dicey call right there, but Matt Schaub delivers. They get the first down. They would get another one by penalty a little bit later. And then it was a matter of a couple of kneel downs. And for the second straight year in the AFC wildcard round, the Houston Texans best the Cincinnati Bengals. This score, 19-13. to 13. The